What's up everybody, welcome back to Roundhouse FM. This video is brought to you by the eight week strength and conditioning program designed by Roundhouse Fitness. Check it out if you wanna get a great baseline to begin strength training and conditioning to begin boxing. So guys, this is a good fight. This is an exciting matchup. The rematch is great. As I've previously touched on, I think that this is gonna be a lot about who's able to make the adjustments because the first fight was really a razor close fight. Obviously Jake won and he won convincingly. I think that was pretty obvious. However, it was definitely clear to me that Tyron had the tools and the ability to win that fight, right? It was really Tyron's fight to lose and he lost it. So is Tyron gonna be able to make the adjustments? Was Tyron prepared enough for this fight? Is it a good fight for Jake to you know, be more prepared than Tyron? Let's dive into it. So first things first, I wanna to touch on some things that I expect to see from Jake Paul. Jake Paul touched on in the last fight, he said he was, you know, he really lost the feeling in his legs before the fight even started. And frankly, that's nerves. And I think that that came from the fact that Jake knew Tyron Woodley was his first like real opponent. You know, he talks about on podcasts that he doesn't get worried at all or anything like that. You know, I doubt it. I think he hasn't gotten worried against the, the last couple of opponents because he felt confident that he could beat them. Ben Askren was a ridiculous situation. The guy's coming off a of hip surgery. He's like 40, retired, worst striker in UFC history. Tyron Woodley is a completely different beast, right? So I think that we should see some more confidence from Jake Paul in this fight because this time he knows he can win. He knows the capabilities he has to win. He knows he can take the big shot. He knows he can take the big right hand from Tyron Woodley and fight through it and win, right? So when we see that confidence from him, are we gonna see less of an adrenaline dump, right? Could he potentially have better cardio than he showed in the last fight? Because a lot of people have talked about how those adrenaline dumps happen and then you're just exhausted three rounds in, even though in training camp, you could spar for 12 rounds, no problem. We also know that Jake now does know that he can go eight rounds, right? He can go a full eight rounds and he can box. Obviously, he was pretty tired after the third round for the rest of the fight, but he was able to fight through it. He was able to box consistently, and now he knows that, right? So that's a confidence building. He talked about losing weight, and he talked about being nervous in the last fight, and that is probably or could be part of the reason his footwork didn't look good. Now, I would argue that, you know, watching his open workouts, watching his previous training footage, watching some leaked footage. I do think that his footwork is just his biggest gap. I just think that it's the thing that he'll probably have the most trouble developing as a boxer. He's got good combinations. He's got fast hands and he's obviously powerful, but is he going to be able to develop that footwork? I don't know. And it could technically be just that he was tired. It could be that he was nervous. It could be a million different things that were affecting his footwork, but it could also be that he just doesn't have that good footwork. I would say it's probably just not that good. Touching on Tyron Woodley, what should we expect in this fight? Well, I think that Woodley might take advantage of the openings this time, right? Because in the last fight, he probably saw some openings. I'm sure he's rewatched the fight a hundred times now. He's probably analyzing some things that he could have done differently. And when I was watching it, I remember for anyone that watched it live with me, I mean, I was looking at this thing looking at these massive openings and was amazed that Tyron Woodley was taking advantage of quite literally none of them. Like he just did not do anything, right? And he allowed the fight to slip out. So this could be a situation where this time when he sees the same openings that he saw in the last fight, he might take advantage of them, right? We're not sure, but that could be something that he could do to make this fight better. And I just think we'll see a more aggressive Tyron Woodley. We, we've seen Tyron Woodley backed into a corner and we see that he does fight when he's backed into a corner. Not not physically in his fights against Gilbert Burns and Kamaru Usman and Colby Covington, but in the Vicente Luque fight when he was going to be cut from the UFC, essentially, sure, he fought recklessly. Sure, he fought poorly. Sure, it wasn't a good performance on his part, but at least he fought. At least he threw. So I think this was kind of a, a situation where he thought he was winning the fight and he just didn't throw enough. But this time, I imagine we see him throw more. I, I imagine we see him a bit more aggressive. But is that going to be detrimental to him like it was in the Vicente Luque fight? That's also totally plausible, right? So let's dive into who I think is really going to win here, guys. As much as I would like to say I think it's going to be Tyron Woodley, I have to give my first prediction to Jake Paul here. And the reason I'm saying that is because we've all been saying it for Tyron's like last six fights. Well, maybe he'll throw more this time. Maybe he won't be as gun shy this time. Maybe he'll actually throw. And then the fight shows up and he doesn't. And now it's been like five consecutive fights where that's happened. So I would be an idiot to sit here and say, well, no, this time he's gonna throw. 
this time it's gonna be different. It just probably isn't. We're probably just gonna see Tyron show up and not throw again. We're probably gonna see him be overly defensive and just not take advantage of the gaps that are there. And I see Jake Paul being more confident because he knows he can win this fight. He knows Tyron didn't have nearly as much time to prepare for this fight as he did. And he knows that it's just all in his favor and all in his advantage. Tyron's gotten even older. He wasn't prepared. And now he's going in here and we're, have, we're, we're supposed to expect him to perform differently than he's performed in the past four or five years of his competitive life. I just can't, I can't sit here and honestly make that pr prediction. I just can't. I have to assume based on what I'm seeing that he's going to again underperform and that Jake's going to be able to take advantage of it and win again. So that's that's my official prediction, guys. This is my first Jake Paul is going to win this one prediction. Well, I think I predicted him against Ben Askren, but it just is what it is, man. And, and I do think that not that Tyron Woodley doesn't have the ability to win. He certainly does. He certainly has the tools and the the skill and the power and all of it he has everything to win but i just don't see the confidence and i don't see the activity coming from tyron woodley to win this fight thanks so much guys take it easy that's my prediction bye